So uh, I'm Jana, and uh, yes, uh, to put you in the context, I uh, work at HitHit, uh, what's the biggest reward-based uh, crowdfunding platform at Czech Republic and Slovakia. And uh, my job consists of uh, taking care of the platform and advising the projects with their uh, campaigns. Uh, so basically, uh, my life goal is uh, to find a way how they can succeed and be appealing to the crowd. And I know that there is no uh, recipe one that can make it successful, we all know. But I know that there are some sets of features or indicators that the successful campaigns has uh, in common, like uh, great pictures or social media networks and so on. But did you know uh, that 80% of uh, successful campaigns uh, use humor uh, in their campaigns? They are funny. No, yes, <laughs> okay. Uh, humor isn't anything new in, the, in our lives. Uh, even marketing is often um, trying to arouse emotions. But in terms of crowdfunding, nobody really talks about it. Uh, you cannot find a list of 10 ways how to be super successful, and one of the bullets will be like, be fun, have fun. There will be, there won't be. There are the guys in the blue t-shirt who are saying like, bring fun back to funding. <laughs> Uh, so maybe that's the speech for them. And uh, so I did this. Uh, okay, I did this small research uh, in between uh, successful authors from 2015 and 2016, and I asked them a few questions, uh, like what helped them to be successful, and I attached some question about the humor. And I found out that 10% of them actively used humor and fun in their campaign. They've been massively funny. It was their main line motive. Okay, 10% is not much. But then there were this 74% who used, uh, whom used humor in some other intensity, in some other way, somehow. Uh, in rewards, text, uh, campaign, and order. Like, for example, uh, owners of a cat coffee from Brno, you can visit it, it's open already, have offered for 15 euros that uh, you can put the name of your ex on the cat litter uh, with, with a claim, there is no better satisfaction. It was really popular. Uh, this small laundry room, they shot a Western video uh, where ironing looks like a plot of a Clint Eastwood movie. And I guess the humor really connects uh, you with the community. Like people uh, who make you laugh are, uh, are appealing to you. You feel better with them, or at least I have it like this. Uh, so uh, humor is a very important part of the Becker and Audrey experience. Um, at least in reward-based crowdfunding. I understand that other types of crowdfunding has a bit different psychology, but I'm not really expert in them. So uh, there is another uh, example. Catherine has a great nonprofit who are trying to raise awareness of a breast cancer and uh, the men's cancer as well. And they did a campaign where the main leitmotiv, even the name and everything, was uh, going with boobs and balls. And it has, okay, it can sound really childish, like some stupid sex joke, but it really worked. It really raised awareness in um, the young people who don't really care about this. So it worked. And then there is this uh, Museum of Kulak, which is online. You can visit it from whole world. It's a website. It's a great project because Russia is slowly closing all the museums, all the memorials of uh, this funny part of history. So they offered uh, a recipe for a soup that is called Balanda. That is a soup that uh, prisoners uh, ate. And uh, yeah, it's rather dark humor, but uh, people get attracted. I bought it as well, and that came. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't cooked it yet. So maybe that's uh, for the gathering some tips. Maybe you can use the, these to serve it. Actually, it's very clever to put a toilet above a head of every speaker. <laughs> Are you looking at it all the time like I did? Okay, and uh, 
my last example and my very favorite uh, reward is this uh, video game um, based uh, website. They are writing about video gaming. It's very funny and they are very popular. And uh, they offered that uh, one of the authors, the Gabe, the guy with the cape, uh, will read your name while he is chasing ducks. Yes, that's what it states. It happened. And uh, this life-changing experience cost exactly one dollar. Thousands have bought it. Ech, wow. <laughs> They really find a hole in the market. Maybe you should start your business with chasing ducks videos. And actually, there is this almost one hour uh, long video where Gabe is uh, going, <laughs> reading all the names from the A till the Z. And you can find your name if you uh, help them. Uh, so I know this is just a top of some iceberg, and that there are. Um, a lot of other things that uh, successful projects have in common, but I'm not here to teach you how to make a successful project. It's like uh, you are the experts. But um, I think it's very important to think uh, about the fact that uh, maybe if I take the idea a bit, bit uh, out of the borders and normal uh, definitions, that the life itself is crowd-based. The society is the source of everything for us. So uh, maybe we should uh, think about it uh, like a crowdfunding campaign. And then uh, we should know that uh, the way uh, outside the borders, the topic of the conference, should be lined uh, with a smile. Thank you.